You're listening to Orange Blaze, a Florida Trail podcast. Uh, in 2020, uh, the Florida Trail on the levees was an extreme challenge. They had a heat wave come through. Mm-hmm. It's not normal this time of mm-hmm. year. And uh, we had to stop every half an hour to an hour. And I just had to curl and create a shade for her to get underneath. And then sometimes it was just too much and I wanted to get miles in, so I carried her. Most I've had to carry her uh, this year is 45 minutes. I've carried her about five times. Okay. And I put her up on top of the pack and on my shoulder, you know. That was Turtle of Turtle and Pup, and I'm Misty Ridley Little. This is a second interview episode from Billy Goat Day. Be sure to listen to episodes 32 and 34 for the rest of this first bit of series from that day. When I arrived at Billy Goat Day, I automatically recognized Turtle and Pup from Instagram, but little did I know that Turtle has been putting a lot of effort into his YouTube channel as well. As you'll hear in the episode, Turtle preferred to stick to his trail name for this episode, and Pup is the sweetest trail companion there could be. To record, we drifted away from the main crowd while the festivities were going on at Billy Goat Day, but in the background you'll hear both the loud chatter from the pavilion of the hikers from the event, and also some music from another event going on at Lake Mills Park, so I do apologize for the extra ambiance. If you haven't been following Turtle and Pup on their Florida Trail journey, which is actually complete as of the airing of this episode, do check out their Instagram and their YouTube channel and hit subscribe. Turtle will be continuing to document his journey with Pup along the Appalachian Trail later this spring and has been updating about things from general goings on during the hike, but also about do's and don'ts about hiking with a dog and some of the worst encounters he's had with unleashed dogs, particularly in North Florida, which is a refrain you'll hear echoed from other hikers on this podcast from time to time. All right, on to the episode. All right, so turtle and pup. So your turtle, what is your, what's your real name and what's your background? Well, I don't discuss my real name, my domestic okay. name in okay. uh, trail life just because okay. on trail, part of letting go on trail is letting go of your entire way of life. So you, you find out who you are, you become what you want to be that you're not given a chance to in your domestic life. It's your first time to completely let go, not of just things of material, but of your mind. You just get to completely let go. Okay. Yeah. So you just, just take on turtle? And... I just take on turtle and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess turtle. Do you like turtles or how did you come up with that? Well, I'm really slow and stubborn <laughs> and I carry way too much on my shelf. <laughs> my first pack was 85 pounds. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And even now I consider myself a light weighter because I pack for two and with water, three liters, I'm at 45.5 pounds and that's ultra light weight for me. And I'm packed for a hundred mile walk like that with my walk. I carry all of her food and her water. Okay. And uh, so I guess, um, well, you're on the Florida trail now, but what have you hiked before? Is this your first? your first hike? What's... No, this is not my first hike. Uh, 2019, we did a traditional northbound um, end for end on the AT. Uh, I did a, uh, my maximum weight heaviest was 65 pounds, uh, the largest supply I did. Uh, and I did a traditional heavyweight backpack. I never slack packed. I even took my pack up to Todd and that's where everybody ditches the pack. I didn't skip one foot of trail. Uh, I was really proud, pumped with the entire thing the whole way. It was okay. really good, yeah. Wow, good. Um, and so, and how did you decide to come down to the Florida Trail? Well, uh, someone told me I should do it, and <laughs> I didn't have any plans. So, um, one of the things I have in life challenging in my domestic life is making decisions. So, when someone suggests something that is so simple as going for a walk, I start packing my bag. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have the concept of a week or nine months I just have the concept in my mind of walking okay so that free spirit of going out continuous I can do that forever it's, it's, it's the best life for me okay um so you when did you start the Florida Trail I started on the 4th mm-hmm. of January today is the 25th Saturday I started off uh, we built a trail family there was about almost like 10 of us at one mm-hmm. time and uh, you know, dialing some new hikers. I tried giving some tips and tricks and you know, backpack shakedowns and general stuff in the woods and also uh, medical issues. I helped deal with with people. And then after it was about 200 miles, I needed to stretch my legs. So uh, the bubble went to town for a couple days, zero with no miles, and we stayed on trail. Okay. And, um, and you're YouTubing. So tell yeah. us, tell me a little bit about that. Like, what is uh, all involved in trying to, uh, you know, YouTube your hike and editing and all of that? It is a complete nightmare chaos. <laughs> uh, I am about five days behind right now. Um, I just finished um, 
January the 18th video. It's a 42 minute video on just the 18th. It took me four hours of editing and saving and I'm doing this all on my phone. And then uploading has been an issue, but I've switched my carriers to Verizon mm -hmm. for a larger plan, hoping to upload faster on that. I'm having a really difficult time editing everything, adding the, the blooper words in there, grouping the um, videos together, adding music, and then adding the other videos with speech because people have had some complaints that they can't hear me talking over the music. Mm. So it, it's it's a nightmare. I've added another 10,000 milliamp battery packs, and now I'm carrying two battery packs on oh top of my phone. That's almost a 4,000 milliamp phone. Wow. Yeah, and that's getting burned up in three days. Yeah. So, I mean, what possessed you to want to YouTube your hike? I mean, what... I mean, it just sounds, if it's so exhausting, what's what's the impetus for doing it? Well, um, some of the challenges I face in my domestic life and my trail life is I have an extreme memory issue. And, like, I can't, I'm definitely, my grammar and my vocabulary is horrible as well. So towns and places are difficult to remember. Uh, I can't remember what I've done yesterday. If you ask anybody on trail, a day on trail is a year. It really is. When you're trying to take in the entire day. And um, the individuals that I've talked to in life, a lot of them are retirees that are following me, and they're never, ever, ever going to get a chance in their life to do a through hike. So they wanted the full exposure of a through hike. So that was another reason. So when I'm off trail and I get to finish everything, I personally will be able to see my own hike mm -hmm. every single day. And I can just play loop play on uh, YouTube um, on the Florida Trail as well as the Appalachian Trail because we're redoing that this year as well. So I intend on doing the same thing for that. So uh, I'm really hoping that the community back home is like, I know just from Billy Day here, I've had 30 people come up to me saying they love it. So. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've watched your snippets on uh, Instagram and I, I and I, <laughs> I, I have found your YouTube and I'm meaning to go watch it. I just have not had the time to, to sit down and watch YouTube videos, um, which was one of the downfalls for hikers. Uh, I think there's so many hikers you can follow on YouTube and it's hard to, you know, everybody has a 10 or 20 minute video, and then your, your evening's gone, so. The, the problem I face with Instagram, I actually had someone on the AT last year, well, in the domestic life, I would send photos and journals to, and it was a nightmare, because I can't spell, I can't do grammar, mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm typing half mm -hmm. the time. And um, that was a nightmare there, and they didn't keep up there, you know, it was, it was a challenge for them because of the way I did everything. And when I took it over this year, and the first thing I found out, Instagram has a limit of like a one minute video. Yeah. They have a limit of how much you can type on there. Mm -hmm. So for 2020, I've almost eliminated Instagram, but I made such a community of people in 2019, I keep posting in there so they know that I'm around right. and I'm posting on YouTube. And I made a specific post in there, you know, please go to the YouTube channel because this is the only way that I can do this. Mm -hmm. so, now I can just talk and I can record the talking right. and people can understand what I'm yeah, saying. Of course, right. It yeah. makes it a lot easier for you. Even though the editing sounds like an issue, but it's yeah. in the long run, it's going to be beneficial for you and yes. it's going to make make you happy at the end. So Yes, yes. <laughs> right. Um, so, I mean, whereabouts are you now? Obviously, this will be out later, so nobody's going to be, like, tracking you down on the trail. So if you... That's uh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually been tracked down once already. It was creepy, but cool. Yeah. Um, so you're, what, in the Orlando area right now? Uh, I or... never know where I am other than the state. Okay. I'm not good with towns. Okay. And that, okay. I know that's a challenge for a lot of people around me, and I'm glad you brought that up. So I use gut hooks, and I can only go by mile markers. Okay. And my mindset is so free when I'm out there. So right now I'm at mile marker 300. That's where I got picked up for the party. Okay, okay. And I know I'm going back to three, mile marker 300. Okay. I have no idea <laughs> where in Florida, I, I'm being honest, where mile marker 300 is. Right. I know that right around mile marker 395 and 400, there's a Dollar General and a Walmart. So the only thing I need to know in the way my mind works is I have to have a hundred mile supply for pupping up. And that's it. And I have to make it, I'm gonna say four and a half days to that hundred mile mark. And that's my goal. Okay. So, and I don't even know what town the next town is in. I just know that I follow the orange blaze and I listen to the wind and the birds every day. Right, perfect. And Pup, she, what kind of breed is she? <laughs> Pup's father was a Siberian Husky and her mother was an English Golden Labrador. And Pup, um, is now 12 years oh wow and two months old wow <laughs> getting around there pop yeah uh, 
we did not just do these trails. I have three veterinarians that look over her. Mm -hmm. uh, one in Vermont, one in Florida, and one in New York. And she is treated for all states for all different types of vaccinations. Right. And uh, we go the extreme before any type of a hike um, to make sure that her health is optimum. And she passed 200% again um, before we left. And uh, with that said, happy hiking. Perfect. And I saw you had her on your back earlier. Do you carry her at all? Or is she mostly, uh, yeah. are you sherpering her? <laughs> uh, I, I do cater to her. She is getting older. Uh, 2019, she quit on me once, the entire hike. Uh, and that was done done. And she had overheated. It was in the, the presidentials and it was at the base of Mount Washington. And of course, it had to be on July 4th when there was hundreds of people there. So I had to carry her up Mount Washington oh, with my 40 pound yeah. pack. So there I am carrying 90 pounds up the mountain, up those stone rubbles. And all those people are like, what oh, is this? Yes, <laughs> and someone nicknamed me the golden carrot. They heard I was a vegetarian, which is not true. I'm gonna get a way to correct that now. <laughs> um, in 2020, uh, the Florida Trail on the levees was an extreme challenge. They had a heat wave come through. Mm -hmm. It's not normal this time of year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to stop every half an hour to an hour, and I just had to curl and create a shade for her to get underneath. And then sometimes it was just too much, and I wanted to get miles in, so I carried her. Most I've had to carry her uh, this year is 45 minutes. I've carried her about five times. Okay. And I put her up on top of the pack and on my shoulder, you know. She probably appreciates that. Oh, yeah. I get a bunch of kisses, and sometimes <laughs> she starts snoring on my shoulder. It's quite Aww. adorable. <laughs> She's very sweet. Now, does she sleep in your tent? She absolutely sleeps in the tent. She's, okay. She never gets forced outside. Perfect. Yeah. She doesn't carry any gear. I carry all of her gear, case closed. It's a it's a cozy life, then. Uh, <laughs> she yeah. gets to enjoy running around outside and getting, on a, getting in some trail miles. and um, Yeah, that's cool. Speaking of miles, her big day... 2019 was 31 miles oh wow yeah and we've already done a, a double 21 so we did a 21 mile day and the next day we did another 21 and we did 15 the next day because we hit mile marker 300 okay yeah. right so she's still doing big miles which is insane perfect and uh so yeah so trail life is is just like that's what your your goal is and you're going to so you're going to maine or you're going to finish the, do the international at part uh, right now, the, the plan is just to walk to redo the AT. Okay. Uh, I hope to have time in between to do, there's a bunch of trails I don't know the names of through Alabama. Mm -hmm. And then through the first part of Georgia, the approach trail. I'm definitely doing the approach trail again. I really recommend anybody do that. It's a wonderful walk. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really look forward to redoing the AT. There's so much positivity yeah. on the AT. And I love mountains. I've been, uh, I said I'd be AT last year, but traditionally I'm a southbound and I isolationist. Mm. 2019 is the first year I ever come out of isolation and started hiking in groups. This is new. And we've done the long trail a couple times, uh, one time in the winter when we weren't supposed to. Yeah. Um, and uh, our longest trek before the AT, the, uh, the AT in 2019 was an 800 mile southbound hike. Mm. And we got off trail, we had some issues back home, we had to retain to. So we, we've been through it all, and to get these light packs at 45 pounds or full resupply is nothing to me. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's light compared to the original packs. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so, uh, after you finish this trail, do you have anything in, on your plate that you want to do the next? I personally have a lot of trails I would like to do. But I won't do a trail without Pup, and she is aging, so it's a very difficult decision. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she turns into one of these crazy 30-year-old dogs right. that never <laughs> stops walking. Um, I would like to look at more trails. i got to talk to some more professionals that have done other trails because if I have to start carrying immense amount of water over long distances. That's true. Yeah, and then some of the trails I've been pre-warned of the large volume of coyotes, oh, koi yeah. dogs, mm -hmm. and with uh, a female dog, canine, that scent on trail, they chase you down. I've been told several times, so hmm. be wary of that. So the last thing I want to do, you know, is at night is have a pack of coyotes around my tent. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. yeah. in danger. Yeah, yeah, that would be not be good. Yeah, so that's why I avoid a lot of the other trails in the U.S. Okay. And also the canopies. I mean, like, we're going through the levees, that's why I call it open canopies, yeah, no trees. Yeah, right. So a lot of the trails are complete open canopies of desert, and, you know, I'd have to carry an umbrella the entire time over her just to make it through the trail and carry it. Yeah, that would be tough, they'd for be, sure. It would be very, very tough. Right. Um, yeah, so you said you're on Instagram and YouTube. Where can people just Google... 
Turtle and Pup, and well, they'll we come give, up. Or we won't give Google too much. Or, or YouTube. Yeah, just go, <laughs> go on YouTube, and uh, if you type in Turtle and Pup, make sure it's the word and, A-N-D, and mm -hmm. Pup, and we'll pop right up. There's a cute little yellow and white dog, an ugly guy with a green shirt and cowboy <laughs> hat. That's me. And I'm trying to do my very best to keep the uh, videos so that any age group can see them, so there's no cursing uh, in there or anything like that. And I'm trying to keep it very, very fun. And it's not just about the trail, not just about the woods, it's about everything in between. The parties, the town visits, the resupplies. I also, I, I've been requested by a lot of small groups to create um, backpacking tips. So in my, I have a playlist I've separated now. So right now there's Florida 2020, there's the AT 2019, and that's not going to grow until I get off trail at the end of the year. And then I have backpacking tips in there that's being created as I go. And I have hiking with dogs. It's been the number oh, one thing. Yeah. yeah, everybody's asked me, it's like, how do I hike with my dog? And I was like, oh, there is really not much out there. So I'm trying to do a full good and bad helpful tent on what happens out there. Of course, the number one thing is stay on leash. Yeah, That's right. the number one thing that everybody fails at. It was just, there's 10,000 reasons why to be on leash and not one good one to be on. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, Turtle and Pup, and is there anything else you'd like to say about the Florida Trail so far? Uh, personally, I've had, I've heard a lot of people complain about it but I mean I'm out here and I'm seeing a whole different view I walk through Cyprus and I use water shoes I recommend those no socks and it was like so spiritual just walking that cool water every day and I had to like manipulate the way I walk on my feet to curl my toes up because there's always holes mm -hmm. and if you were looking right you fall down a foot into a round hole mm -hmm. and you sink down and trip so I learned how to manipulate kind of like hover over those holes and feel the edges and walk through that I got good speed in there uh, listening to birds go through and the challenges of helping you know, the group to make it to a camping site mm -hmm. was great. And once you're done Cyprus and you go into the levees, a lot of people didn't like them. I enjoyed them because I'm an early guy. And I'd get out the crack of dawn and there's literally thousands and thousands of birds waking up in the morning. And the the, uh, the water, every morning I went out on those uh, canals, the water was like a mirror. So to see these birds, and they're huge, and they just hover over the water. So you got, you know, the shadows of the birds, the full image right on the water mm -hmm. going through. It was amazing. And so quiet. And the sunrise and the sunset are amazing in the state. There's like, it's like never cloudy in Florida. Yeah. If it is, it's for like 20 minutes. Right. The rain passes and then it's good again. Yeah. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. I, I've loved every bit of it. Um, a lot of people complain about the highway walk that's coming up. There's going to be a 30 mile stretch. Mm -hmm. That's a challenge. We may just get it done in one day, so it's done, but we might split into two days. We'll see what happens. Right. But when others are complaining, um, I'm really loving this hike. And, you know, if anybody's having issues with their domestic life and they need to let go, this is a place to go in the winter. I mean, where can you go and wear shorts in January in the U.S.? <laughs> and, not many places. Not many places. You know, I really emphasize people come out here. It's great. She looks sleepy. <laughs> yeah, Pup's a little overwhelmed today. She's had a lot of people come up to her, and she's tired. We did a hostel. We've been pigging out. We've probably eaten 20,000 calories in the past 18 hours. <laughs> so. Well, that's what you got to do on your down days, so it's perfect. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Well, thank you for sitting down and chatting with me for a minute. And, um, yeah, definitely if you want to when you're done in Maine and want to come back and talk about the rest of your rest of the Florida Trail and, and the rest of the ECT, that would be good. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Thank you for your time. That's it from Turtle and Pup. You can check out the show notes from the episode at orangeblaze.thegardenpathpodcast.com and find out where to follow Turtle and Pup on the rest of their adventures. Do hit subscribe to their YouTube channel. And while you're at it, hit subscribe to this podcast in your favorite podcatcher if you haven't done so already. Are you wrapping up your 2020 Florida Trail through hike? Want to be on the podcast? Drop me an email at orangeblazepodcast at gmail.com. All right. Thanks for listening and happy hiking.